Hey, good morning. Uh, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to do some searches in Microsoft Outlook, and I'm going to try to keep them really simple. A lot of what, a lot of the searches I'm going to do, I don't believe a lot of people know. So I'm on my inbox. I have my reading pane running over to the right, and I do want to point out I'm in Outlook 2016. So it says search current mailbox at the top. When you click there, it immediately opens up the search tab up on the ribbon. I want to see emails from Carol Martin, and here's where I see a lot of people do stuff. They'll go start typing in Carol Martin 152. That is her email address. So there are all the emails from Carol Martin, but the problem is there are other emails too. As an example, this second email from Art Vandelay, when I click it, I'm sorry, uh, the fourth email down when I click it, it wasn't actually from Carol Martin, it was from Art Vandelay over in the reading pane, and Art mentioned that he's going to send it to Carol Martin. So let me close that search. If you notice, I have 20 results in the bottom left corner. So to do that search, you only want to see from Carol Martin, just click the word from, and it even says type in the sender's name. There are the emails I have from Carol Martin right there. Instead of 20, I have five. I'm going to close that search. Back in the search current mailbox. So that's how you search from someone. You can also search emails that have attachments. I'm going to just simply click has attachment. It put in has attachments colon yes. And we end up with a total of 75 results in the bottom left corner. I'm going to just quickly do a scroll through here. You can see the attachment icon here. That looks pretty good. Let's keep going with it. I'm going to do a space bar from Art Vandelay. One, two, three attachments. They're all from Art Vandelay. So you can mix and match up top here. Again, I'm going to close with the X. Let's do one date related. So I'm in the search box. Again, search. I have this option that says this week. I'm going to select it. I only want to see emails today. Click on today. And in case you're wondering, I'm clicking on this include older results. You normally should not have to do that. I've got something going on in my Outlook. If you recall, I'm an Office 365 insider. So every once in a while, stuff doesn't work exactly as it should. But that took care of that one. Today is Sunday, April 14th. I said today. I've got nothing but the 14th. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to get rid of today. I just backspace through it. This week up at the top. Let's try yesterday. I should get the 13th. I'm looking in the received column. That appears to be working also. There you go. I'm going to clear that out. I'm going to go back and click on search again. And I'm going to do Carol Martin. Again, I'm just typing it. It automatically put in the from this time. I'm going to get rid of the from. If you notice over in this email, it actually highlighted Carol Martin's name. In case you're wondering why it's doing that, if you go to search tools, search options, it will show you search, Highlight search terms in the following color, and you can actually change that color. Also, it is going to um, 
when possible, display results as the query is typed. Let me show you what that means. When I hit OK, I'm going to get rid of this right here. I'm just typing in Carol. Those that have the clock near them are recent searches, Carol and Carol Martin. The third one down is Carol Burnett. That is where that is coming from, what I just showed you, just to let you know that. And by the way, if I type in just Carol, look, her name's in yellow over here also, which I also just showed you. Let me show you another cool trick I like under searches. I like to use categories. And whether you use folders or categories, that one's up to you, but I actually use both. But I've applied some categories down here. Notice budget, HR, issues. If I need to search by category, I click in the search box, categorize. I need to find any email that I tagged as budget. I have seven results and they all have the budget category in them. That is exactly what I wanted to find. So I'm a big fan of that one also. I'm going to close the search. Anyway, I'm going to stop now. That's uh, six minutes. That's long enough. I've got actually more advanced searches to do, but I'll do those in another video. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're in Athens, GA, I'm trying to think what day, on the 26th, Friday the 26th, join me at Administrative Professional Day. I'll be speaking. Thank you. Have a great weekend.